um, it's Sarah again, nice to see you. Um, I thought today we could have a little bit of a think about pocket nappies. What is a pocket nappy and what are the inserts that we use to go inside them? So I thought first of all we'd begin by just looking at a few of these pocket nappies that I have here. I have various known brands, uh, so I have an Alva, Little Blooms, Little Lamb, Little Love Bum, Petit Crown and a Bubba and Boo pocket nappy here just for examples in the discussion. But basically what do we mean when we say pocket nappy? Well in a nutshell what we're talking about is a nappy that has a pocket in the back. So like this one here. So this is the uh, Little Lamb, this is one of my favourite prints actually. So it's a Little Lamb pocket nappy. Um, and the reason we have a pocket is because with this particular nappy design, we're saying there's a waterproof outside, there's a usually a fleece type inside, but it can vary materials, obviously you can get bamboo since it's just fleece. Um, and the pocket is the place where you put the absorbency inside the nappy, which sometimes comes with the nappy, sometimes doesn't. So I thought we'd have a think about inserts as well. So I'll show you an example of how an insert might go into a nappy just to begin with. I'll show you this Alva insert here. So we just put it in. We have to make sure that it's flat inside because if it's not straight inside a nappy then sometimes that can compromise the absorbency. But we basically just put it inside and then that means that when you put the nappy on baby then it's going to have some absorbency. I thought it would be helpful today as well just to basically explain an insert and a booster are the same thing because sometimes people think that those are separate things and they're not. They're actually just the same thing. So the insert goes inside the nappy, it's what you put inside, that's what's called an insert, insert into the nappy, but a booster also boosts the absorbency. So people sometimes just say booster and insert interchangeably. Okay, so first of all, this is an Alpha Baby insert and this is a microfiber one. So this is quite a basic insert. These are usually a fair bit cheaper and quite often these will come free with nappies, especially lower end ones, because it costs less than some of the more ex expensive inserts like bamboo and hemp and charcoal and we'll come on to that soon. So the benefits of microfiber inserts are, well, first of all, there's obviously the price. Um, they're also the fastest absorbing insert. They don't absorb as much as say bamboo or hemp, but they are usually the quickest to absorb. So if you've got a baby at the wheeze very quickly, then a microfiber insert will catch that fluid very quickly. So sometimes what you might say is that you'd have say a microfiber insert and then maybe have a bamboo insert behind it because the bamboo then would absorb that fluid from the microfiber and contain more fluid for a longer period of time than the microfiber could on its own. So that's one of my tricks that I tend to use. Okay, so I put that one down there and this is a bamboo um, booster or insert. So this is a little lamb um, insert here made of bamboo and these are some of my favourites. I use these all the time. And what I find quite helpful about this is they're quite thin. So for instance, if it's my little boy, what I might do is say fold that in half and put it near the front of the nappy because then that's where he wheezes. And so it just means that it catches more fluid and it can boost the parts of the nappy that need to be boosted. So that is a really fantastic, really slim trim absorbent insert, which I, you know, like I say, is one of my favorites that I use quite a lot. Um, one thing to think about I mean, I've, I've obviously mentioned microfiber, I've mentioned bamboo. Um, one of the risks that we can have is if we put an insert directly against a baby's skin, sometimes that can cause irritation, particularly with microfiber, it can almost dry out the skin because it's not as soft to the touch. And some babies, when they're more sensitive to wetness, uh, because fabric can have a wet feel despite absorbing, some babies may be sensitive to that. Not all babies, but some babies will be. So in that instance, what we talk about is sometimes using a fleece liner. Liner is not to be confused with insert. So what I tend to do with most of my nappies is I just put a fleece liner on top, just to make sure that it wicks fluid away from baby's skin, uh, because my babies have quite sensitive skin, I find that's really helpful. But what you can find is the benefits of having a pocket nappy, such as the little lamb, is that often the lining is fleece itself, so in those instances you don't necessarily need to bother with putting a fleece liner in. But they can also be really handy in terms of catching poos and solids when baby is, uh, is actually on solid foods as well. 
Um, I say they're less useful when you have a breastfed baby in terms of catching the, the solids because um, that's pretty much fluid, it just goes everywhere, but it's personal preference. Okay, so we've spoken about microfiber and we've spoken about bamboo. So I guess that leads me to talk about, say, boosters, which may be a combination of bamboo and microfiber. So Barbara and Boo tend to include these inserts with their nappies, but also this is Little Bloom's one. Um, and they can be really handy if you want an insert that has that little bit more absorbency than microfiber would on its own. But also because they can absorb more quickly, and I quite like these, I tend to use these ones quite a lot in my nappies, they're quite a staple. Um, I like the Barbara and Boo pocket nappies, so for me I have quite a few of the mixed ones. Um, they have the benefit of being that bit more affordable than say just bamboo and hemp on their own, but also the absorbency. Um, and yeah, they're quite affordable overall, okay? Um, and a variation of the mixed ones are things like the charcoal bamboo insert. So what they're very similar to the bamboo mix and actually they are a form of the bamboo mix inserts. So it's charcoal bamboo um, and this one has also microfiber mixed in. So it has also the benefits of being absorbent, but also that bit more affordable and just that thicker, softer feel when you have it inside a nappy. Okay. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is inserts when they're made from natural fibres like bamboo, cotton or um, hemp is they tend to shrink quite a lot in the wash so you may panic when you first get an insert and think well how big is this baby and will this ever fit in my nappy but um, actually it does, it shrinks in the wash and what you have to do in terms of getting the absorption from the more expensive natural fibres is you have to do a few pre-washes because what you find is in natural fibres, there can be a lot of natural oils. Um, and whilst those are there, it actually limits the ability of the material to absorb. So you may find materials such as say this hemp insert, uh, it feels less soft now that it's been pre-washed, but it also has all the absorbency. And so it it's just one thing to prepare yourself for really, that you do need to pre-wash them, otherwise the absorption will be limited. And I've known people to use bamboo and hemp inserts and say, oh, they're rubbish and go back to using microfiber because they've not realised they have to pre-wash them or they've been shocked at how much they've shrunk in the wash. So this is a Bob and Boo hemp insert. So another one that, of my favourites, I have tried various hemp inserts. So, so I also quite like the easy peasy ones and I've tried the bean and baby ones as well. They're all quite similar really. They're really first inserts. So I tend to put these into a night nappy just as some extra absorption, especially with um, with my eldest who's a toddler, the extra absorbency of these offer is really good. So I tend to use, say, hemp and bamboo, um, and I find that works really, really well. Um, the thing I haven't spoken about is trifolds, and these are also great in terms of adding absorbency into the nappy. So, for instance, this is a, a double layer bamboo, but actually, when you fold it, you suddenly get six layers. So this one works really well also to boost nappies into a night nappies. So I've used these in various nappies. It's actually a baby bear insert, um, but they sell these specifically as a night insert. So this goes really well inside their nappies. And when I've put that in the nappy and like hemp inserts and various things, and they've been actually suitable for overnight for my son, which has been really helpful. Um, but yeah, it, it's called tripod. So obviously you're folding it into three. And another version of the trifold can be um, examples like this. This is actually a trifold that folds in different ways. This is a, an organic cotton um, trifold, which I think is a smart bottoms one, but you can get them in various brands, including blueberry as well. Um, these can be really thirsty. It took a lot of washes to get this one to have the absorbency though, so that's another thing to warn you about. I find with smaller nappy, so if it's on my younger baby, I've used this inside, say, a flip wrap as a, a, a nappy for my youngest who's only well she's not even quite two months old but this works quite well inside those for her um, I've also used it just folded in two and I put it inside a nappy for my son or a wrap and it's also then worked as a basic nappy system that way as well so it's a really versatile one I quite like this because it just seems to absorb really well it can be quite thick though if you <laughs> put it in an already boosted nappy but it's really handy um, and so yeah that's um, pocket nappies and that's inserts for today but what I can show you as well 
So one thing to show you is that each pocket nappy will have different variations of the pocket. So this, for instance, is a bug and boot. And what I quite like about these ones is a double gusset inside. Um, so that works really well. And that's also inside the little love thumb ones as well. Okay, um, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say for today really about pockets and pocket nappies and inserts and boosters and liners. Um, the only thing really is that also a pocket nappy can be an all-in-one. So a lot of all-in-one nappies do also have um, pockets inside and the difference might be between say an all-in-one and a pocket nappy is that basically an all-in-one may already have an insert stitched inside it, but it's basically the same principle as with all these pocket nappies that we've spoken about today. So I hope that's helpful and I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you enjoyed this video today, please click like and subscribe. Bye.